Hey everyone, this is Antoine Thomas with the Silverline Real Estate Group, and I'm back here with another video. And I have a, uh, some information I want to share with everybody that I think is very important uh, now that we are heading into the summertime of 2020. And the topic of the information I'm going to share is going to be why this summer is the 2020 real estate season. All right. Now, normally you will see an uptick in, uh, in activity in the real estate market in the springtime, okay? Now, we can break that down into what that uptick really means, but that'll be, you know, we'll have to make another video about that. But there is a little uptick in activity, all right? Now, with everything that happened this year with 2020, the COVID-19 and the stay-at-home order, that springtime uptick activity actually went the other direction. So the activity uh, amount actually went down, okay? Now, all that really did is now with things opening up, that staying home order now is, a you know, kind of loosened up a little bit. You got businesses opening back up. You got restaurants that are opening back up for dine in, for, for being able to dine in the restaurants. And you got people going back to work now. So that spring uptick in activity actually got delayed into the summertime. Okay, so I got some notes here I want to share with you guys real quick. Um, so we are now... Shifting into the summer. The summer is the new spring. Okay. 2020 summer is the new spring. Okay. Now, I have some information right here where applications for home purchases continue to recover from April's sizable drop and have now increased for five consecutive weeks. Okay. Government purchase applications, which include FHA, VA, and USDA loans, are now 5% higher than they were a year ago. Okay, very important information. That is an encouraging turnaround after the weakness seen over the past two months. All right. So what is the opportunity if you're a buyer in the, the 2020 summer market? What is that opportunity for a buyer? Uh, so I wrote down another reason buyers are coming into the market right now is with the uh, even with the forced unemployment and the stay at home orders is a historically low mortgage rates. OK. They're extremely low. They've been, um, you know, in 2020, the one thing that is really helping the real estate, um, um, the markets, and which will ultimately help the overall economy is the low interest rates on the mortgages. So that's good news. Um, so for the fourth uh, consecutive week, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage has been below 3.30%, okay? giving potential buyers a good reason to continue shopping even amid the pandemic. So as states reopen, we're seeing a purchase demand improve uh, very fast, okay? And now essentially fl flat rel relative to a year ago. So um, even compared to last year, we're seeing a, uh, a purchase demand being extremely high. So that's good news, okay? Now, as a buyer, again, you're able to afford more home right now Due to the low rates but what is the opportunity if you're a seller okay so finding a home is still a challenge right because there is low inventory and the spring sellers remove many listings from the market right so with the low inventory and the influx of buyers getting into the market it is a lot more difficult to find a home and or if you find a home it could be very difficult to get it locked in due to a multiple offer situation okay um but more people are now putting their houses up this month. We're in May right now, the end of May, going into June, as compared to last month, April, in, in the March time, okay? So current inventory is still well below last year's level. It's very important. So what does that mean, all right? So if you're thinking of selling your home, the summer is a good time to do it because with so many, with so few homes on the market for buyers to purchase, the season um, for your house to stand out from the crowd is going to be higher than ever. If there isn't as many homes to choose from, and you put your home on the market now, then obviously you 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 the you know the product, the home, is in great condition. You've done everything you can to get it show ready, and it shows well. It's going to be a lot. Uh, it would be a better situation for a seller to get their home sold and get it sold for the money that they want to sell it for, if that makes sense. If they want to be able to really maximize their equity, then selling in the summertime is a great time to do it because of the low inventory, 
all right so it's just the supply and demand so and i broke down one more thing um so yeah the bottom line is we are in uh we have a great opportunity uh with even the COVID 19 situation to still be able to whether you're a seller or a buyer achieve your real estate goals and make 2020 a great year so if you have any questions if you need more advice more information please don't hesitate to reach out to your real estate advisor we'll be we're here to help you give information serve you at any level possible and much love and respect to everybody out there be safe and i'll talk to you guys next time